All right, we're looking at Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. I am playing as Bertha, who is the German medic. And uh, her special ability is that she can, uh, one of them is that she can, she can inject herself. Let's see if I can do this. And it gives her some special ability. She can kind of run around faster, reload faster. My goal here is to take out all the spec ops. Let's see if I can do that. With Bertha. Oh, I just blinded myself. Damn it, Bertha. And this is Operation Raccoon City running on a PlayStation 3. This is the E3 build, Brian. So you'd played this already, right? Yeah, I played this using a different character who was a little... Uh oh what do we have here? Is this a cutscene? Uh oh This doesn't look good. I have a feeling that things are about to get hairy. So, uh, yeah, the, the version I played in E3, it's the same build, but I played a different character who had a scoped out rifle, which made things a little complicated. Okay, I now have to find safety, which is pretty much what I do in every game. So I'm going to see if I can get out of here and find safety. Let's see, let me take my drugs. Oh, no. Run. Zombies are after me. And we should make it clear that usually, you, well, when the game comes out, the intention is that what up to four people can get together and play this together, right? Only online, though. Only online, yeah, but no, here, here you're playing as a single player with bots that are allied with you. Yes, my allied. Bots. I don't see them helping you at all. No, they're laughing. As do those players. No. Okay, I'm dead. How do you know? I'm not sure. I, it's, a, it's a gut instinct. Um, you can't respawn straight into the area where you died. You will notice that the German medic wears a leather skirt. It looks like it's leather when she's taking out her zombie. I'm not sure why. Leather seems to be the, the theme of all the characters. So Brian, the original Resident Evils were really slow paced, and then like RE4 and RE5 were kind of more action games, but this I would say is like one of the fastest paced Resident Evil games, right? I mean, does it feel yeah, that way to you? It feels like a shooter. I mean, it's got a nice, it has slick control, so you can move and shoot at the same time, I can zoom in if I need to, no down, no down the, uh, the barrel. Yeah. Aiming, but that's fine. I mean, uh, the aiming's pretty intuitive. Uh, let's see if I can find the rest of these guys. Do you feel any sense of horror? No, not at all. I'm not scared either. He's not shaking, folks. I look. No, this camera may be shaking because I'm scared. Yeah. Or because of how bad I am at this. Yeah. Rag grenade. So now, let's see if I can. Now, one of the things I complained about when I wrote about this, uh, when I played it at E3, is that I had a little trouble figuring out what the heck I was supposed to be doing and where I was supposed to be going. As you can see, I'm going to run around here. This is a pretty big map. There's a lot of places to explore. And it's easy if you miss a message to not know what you're supposed to do. I came in over here through this garage, way over here, right through here. And was kind of opened up into this room where I was told to kill off all these other armed people. Um, now you'll notice that there's a little indicator that says kill them all off, saying that I have to get over here. So I'm going to run over there. Now that I think everything on this map is dead. And this is essentially part of the storyline campaign of the game. I, when I was at uh, Captivate in Miami, they had us play in the, the, the competitive mode where human players play against other human players and the zombies or bio, bio weapons are kind of this third force it's like you're fighting a firefight in a jungle where you have to worry about the lions but this ostensibly you've got a storyline propelling you through this I'm trying to kill this thing uh oh you could have tried befriending it oh it's dead Alright, let's see what else pops out at us. Right, and as we near the five minute mark, do you have a sense of 
whether we're hitting some big moments soon or just kind of more of this? I think we are, yeah, I think we're rolling from objective to objective here. I'm now told I have to survive. I'm bleeding, which means the zombies are going to be more interested in killing me, which they just did. So there you go. There, there's a sense of it. This is not the Resident Evil you're used to playing. There's nothing scary about it. You don't have to worry about conservation of ammo. In fact, not only do you have ammo that you seem to be... Ammo seems to be plentiful, but there's also grenades or flash grenades or special attacks. So this is really a, a zombie shooter. You know, you're going in and you're taking out the trash. The undead trash. All right, that was Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City brought to you by Brian Crescente on the controls. Coming to PS3 and Xbox 360 and maybe something else. I don't know, PC maybe? Who knows? Winter 2011, which is end of this year, beginning in X, one of the two.